Hey No Man's Sky fans, Arpeggio here. Welcome to Season 1, Episode 2 of my No Man's Sky Permadeath series. So we've got back to the ship over here. We've done the first lot of, que uh, lot of quests and now we are ready to go into space. So excuse your little uh, jittering around on the screen, sometimes it uh, doesn't like to load too quickly, but uh, we get there in the end. I haven't got a super PC. I've got a decent PC, but not a super super PC, so there's times where, like there, where the game just sort of slows up a little bit. Six Planets developing industrial Corvax. Okay. Now, first thing I'm going to do here, though, I'm actually going to go into first person now, and I'm going to find the space station, and we are going to head there on the other side of the planet, I think, is it? Yeah, I think it is too. Alright, so about let's go over there. Because you'll see why, most of you probably know why, but you know, those that don't, you'll see why a bit later on. Uh, where am I going? That one. No, let's go back. Oh, messed, messed it up again. Here, where are we? Up a bit. That's the one. All right, great. So yeah, the advantage with uh, going to the space station first is that later on when you do the teleporter, you can actually go to and from a lot easier, so uh, you save a couple of steps, basically. And it also shows up on your uh, compass up top, too. Um, but what we'll do first, we'll go and talk to everyone. Because they have such interesting things to say, these guys. And also, it won't affect what happens later on I'm talking to them now. Of course, we can't understand any of their language, so we have to try and learn some. So bear with me while I go through all these guys. Lego! Is it Lego? Good old Lego. I always just pick the top uh, top one. It doesn't really matter which one you do. Uh, word is Loudy. Again, we don't know. We know stuff all of their uh, language, so that's why we're learning it now. I'll just whip through all these guys to just get it all done quickly. Beretzi. Maybe even roll your R on that one. Oh, Lang. Good old Lang. Doesn't sound a very Viking name to me. Alright, don't know why sometimes it says there it uh, teaches you a word of language, other times it doesn't. I kind of wish it wouldn't full stop, to be honest, because it's it's another click. <laughs> it doesn't happen all the time either, like there, it didn't happen. Alright, next, let's grab some nanites. Look, they're all waving to me. Drillick. So again, we're just going around just learning all these words off them. Do that in all the well, in most of the places we go to. In and in and out. Alright, anyone else? No one was walking off. No. Okay. Couple to go. Again, if you want to read all that stuff, you can always just pause it and see what it says. It's not important. Oh, there's mums. Oh, damn, I wish I wish that was uh, my overseer. <laughs> Get old mums. Mum's the word. Or the name, as the case may be. Gone a little bit overboard and lippy there, though, mate. Sorry about that, mum. Okay, now, did I do... Yeah, I did this guy here. Just quickly check. Yes, I did. Okay, now I don't need anything over here, I don't think, yet. Let's see what they got to sell, though. Five words. Let five words. Well done. 
Anything good? Tritium. You know what? Oh no, I can only get. I can't get too much though, so there's no point. Uranium is good though. That will be handy to have. I'll get a stack of that. Got enough money? Probably not a real lot. No, I won't get it yet. We know it's there. We know it's there. Oh, now that's a bit of a mixture of colours. Bit pity about the square front on it though. B45, nice. Just a tad expensive. Yeah, if that didn't have the square front, they wouldn't, I wouldn't mind that at all. Okay, so over here we will get the uh, suit slot, extra suit slot. Suit upgrade. So we'll add an extra slot there. The first one costs 5,000. It goes up in increments from there. And all these guys sell um, upgrade modules. So we're looking for the uh, the orange ones. There's nothing there. Okay, so or the S-Class ones. He sells the extra craft type stuff, which we're not up to at the moment. This will give us either technology, yep, navigation data. Uh, he sells ship goodies. This one that doesn't look too bad. What have we got here? It's a C class. Alright. We won't worry about it right now though. Now if you've got a scanner, mate, I'll be looking at that later on. We've not got enough uh the yellow, no. He's only got a he's only got a C class scanner module. Darn. Alright, nothing I want there. That's a shame. Alright, let's keep moving. Talk to the guys in here. Oh, you look at you like just like mums. Good old Vacket. He's just offering to be the overseer. We're not up to that yet, so we can't hire him if, even if we wanted to, but we can come back here a bit later on and hire him. Talk to these guys. Begins to scan. Oh. I stuffed up your scanner, did I? Sorry, mate. This guy. Well, we know a couple of words so far. <laughs> now, uh, what's, I think this guy wants carbon, actually. Yeah. Nice. And he has given us 101 nanites. And a standing increase with the Corvax. Very good. Hey, Shank. And he's uh, he wants to become your exa, exa craft technician. Again, later on, we can get around to that. We're not up to that yet. And these do have, each trade terminal has different things on it as well. So that had gold, which will be handy later on too. And pyrite. A pyrite also can be a bit hard to find sometimes, depending on what system you're in. Alright, that's all for here. Let's get out of here. Where's that ship? All the way up there. And we'll head towards this marker, signal source. I do need to make some more fuel, I don't I? I should have grabbed a little bit of, uh, I should have grabbed a little bit of uranium, doesn't matter. Can I make one yet? No, what do I need? Metal plating, we can do that I think. So let's make some launch fuel. Drop that into there. Okay, now we are going, oh, back to the frozen planet. Sub-zero planet. Yeah, we'll do a bit of a loop-to-loop -loop just to make everyone dizzy. There we go. Well, barrel roll, not a loop-to-loop, -loop, barrel roll. Approximate location, so I'll get reasonably close and then I'll run the scan. Oops. Okay. So if one shows up pretty close, it's usually the spot. Come on. A little bit closer. Okay. We've been here before, so we know. You know what, might as well identify that, why not? 
I will um, identify the ones with just the one element. The ones with two, I'll oh, go away, Sentinel. The ones with two, I tend to hold off on uh, because I usually want to get the carbon or the ferrite. Uh, I don't want to split up into two different elements. I get as much as I can. Although in permadeath, I guess it maybe doesn't really matter as much because you, you can only have a stack of... What, each stack is only a maximum 250. So you need those slots free, which reminds me... Uh, where are we? This way. I can put the... I don't know if I had more carbon. Oh, there we go. We've got more than a stack of sodium. So I can put that in the high capacity inventory. And you'll see that's now... It stacks up to 500 in there. And I think the ship is the same. I'm pretty sure the ship's still the same. I'm pretty sure it is anyway. Okay, so... We'll go over to our little damage machinery here. Sparking wise machine generator signal. Tapping out its broadcast in the void. Whoever left this message is long gone. So we'll decipher the signal. Failed to reach station. Has a protection low. No choice but to go underground. And we have the, now have the plans for a base computer and terrain manipulator. So we need 30 chromatic metal for that. And that's the other reason why I um, deconstructed the rocket launcher, because it gave me 100 copper, which uh, refines down to 50 chromatic metal, so I'll be able to make the, uh, the base computer when I need to. And the terrain manipulator, which allows you to dig underground, Two nanotubes and a dihydrogen jelly. So I should better make that right now. Oh, two of those. And a dihydrogen. We don't have any. We got eleven. Okay, we need to find some dihydrogen. Do a scan. Let's just. Uh, we better just jump in that ship just quickly too, though. I've got all the animals I think on this planet. I think I have a better check. Back into the Aussie Mozzie. That's what I called my ship, the Aussie Mozzie. That's right, because I couldn't get the uh, the lettering done properly with the controller. It was a bit a bit finicky with the controller to get that. So I, I got it in the end, but uh, would have been a bit stuffed around on the video. So I just left that till afterwards. So just letting that uh, hazard position go up. The other thing also takes a long time is your scanner. If you would see the scan on the bottom right of the screen, how slowly that refresh is going up. It takes a lot longer than in any normal mode. A lot longer. And now, of course, everything has uh, disappeared off my radar, so I just have to look around. Although I should be able to find... Should be able to find some uh, some dihydrogen around the place, really. It's not hard to see if it's around. I will grab the oxygen, though. Not too worried about, uh, too worried about identifying too much just at the moment. I was hoping to get a scanner at the uh, at that place, at the space station. Unless that didn't happen. Hydrogen somewhere. Ouch. No no hydrogen, you gotta be kidding me. Wow, alright. We're just gonna have to look around. Oh, come on, there we go. Okay, now that's probably copper over there. I've got enough copper for my... You know what? No, we're... Protection's going down. Okay, we can't spend too much time. We need to find hydrogen. Well, it's a bit short supply over here. You can only see it pretty easily when it's around. Where's my ship? That way. I better start heading back towards that since my um, hazard protection is going down a fair bit. I've got sodium, but if I don't need to use it. 
Oh, I like. Oh, that's right. I can't. Yeah, I can't use the uh, terrain manipulator yet because I haven't made it yet. Well, let's just jump back in the ship then. We might go for a bit of a, a fly around. Scan on here from the uh, play from the ship takes doesn't take as long, which is good. Oops, I made a stop like that. <laughs> There's a handbrake stop. Have you ever seen one? So I'm just flying along, just uh, scanning when the scanner recharges. What's this one going to be? Oh, train station. Yeah, look, we might as well go there. Oh. And let's not run into it. <laughs> oh, no, this is a bad way to die if I die this way. Get out of there. I'm stuck, guys. No, I am stuck. I'm going to die. Oh, jeez, that was close. Wow. I didn't slow down quick enough. Yeah, you get stuck on those. On the, that's a that's a big warning for God. People there too. If you, if you actually hit hit the trade uh, platforms, you can so easily get stuck there. That was super close. Oh, hello. that's not bad. That's an S thirty eight, and it's only fifty seven and a half million. It's quite right that too. And I like the ones without the tail because I like without the tail fin because I like the the third person view. The tail fin tends to get in the way of for me anyway, it gets in the way of uh, of shooting targets. Right, let's have a chat to these guys. Paramens. So again, we're just going to learn the uh, words off them. There may be uh, a scientist, I think, sometimes amongst these guys. Oh, that's the terminal. All right, we'll see what they've got anyway. Nothing much I really want there right now. He's ignoring me, but he'll teach me a word. Required. So yeah, he's a scientist, so I can always come back here when I need the scientist. I can always come back here and get, here and get him. So that's three of the three of them in this system, which is good. Don't do you. Don't walk away from me when I'm talking to you. Okay, that's it for here, pretty much. I will do a scan, see if there's any dihydrogen around though. And I'll collect the bits of uh, loot that are around here. Oh, I need to add some oxygen to my... to my um, life support. Corvex casing I will hang on to because they're important later on. It's a shuttle. It's a C. I probably should look at making some uh, life support. What are they called? Life, uh, life support gels. So I need hydrogen jelly for that too. Okay. Uh, I don't think they don't sell it here, do they? I don't think I've ever seen it in these places. Nah. nah. Alright, that's fine. Let's get out of here. Uh, where's my ship? Over there. Let's find somewhere else. Scanner's still recharging, alright. So just cruise over the top. Of the planet. Oh, come on, scanner. Um, that scanner seems stuck. And that last little tiny bit. Oh, there we go. I think it was just taking a long time, yeah. Long than I thought. Oh, well. Can't see anything around there. No, let's keep looking. I mean, you can find crash ships too. If you want, if you want to look for crash ships too, one of the better ways is to go into first-person mode. And you'll see those ships behind me, those dots that were behind me. That's up in space. That's nothing. That's a ship up in space. But there'll be a white dot near me if there's a crashed ship. 
there's nothing around me at the moment, but I don't like the first person as much because you can't see. Your, your vision is very much impaired by the cockpit. Let's not crash into you. Geez, that was a close call with the ship before. Oh, and everything, me as well. That would have been the end of it. The season over. <laughs> oh, God. What a way to go that would have been. Is that something down there? No. Just sodium. What's this one? Anything useful? Nah. Oh, let's keep looking. Gotta find something. Come on. I mean, except the crashing into the uh, the trade term, trade port there. Um, the, the the flying is very very uh, easy in this game. It is easy to do. I just didn't hit the anchors quick enough and just went flew straight into it. <laughs> That one I'll get. That's a, uh, I forget what they actually call them now. It's a, a, a beacon, I think. We can't open these yet. We need to get an Atlas Pass for those. This will show me where there's a miner's settlement. So that's the sort of place I'll be looking to, uh, to build a base at this stage. Because there's, there's always a terminal there, there's a guy that sells uh, parts as well. We still need the uh, dihydrogen though. Eh? Oh, there's some, is it? Yep, let's go. Need a reasonable amount too, because I do want to make some life support gels too. Oh, darn it. I'm just looking. I'm just looking. Honest. Darn it. Now he won't let me grab that. Did I need any underground animals here still? Let's have a look. Yeah, one of seven, one, one to go. Underground? Yes. All right. Well, while the sentinels have a look around out there, let's have a look in here. Just give it a bit of time for the everything to spawn in properly. Sometimes the animals don't show up straight away, so you got to wait. It's not much of a cave though here. Nah. And with those, that sort of uh, bottom on the caves, quite often I don't find the animal, the animals or the fauna in here. I say it was that gold, was it? Yeah. All right. No, we don't need gold right now. We will, but not yet. So no, I think we're out of luck there. All right, let's get out of here. Hopefully, uh, hope the sentinel's flown away. No, he's over there still. But if you go a distance away from there and shoot, he shouldn't see me. He'll he'll go around to where the crystals are there. He's actually heading up this way. He was actually heading up here anyway. Okay, normally they will go towards uh, where you're shooting. So that's one way of getting him. Any more? There's sodium there, I might grab that. Oh, stuck in the cobalt. Not seeing... Gee, this is a pretty poor planet, it seems, for dihydrogen, that's for sure. Uh, sodium, what else is there, there? How many did I get? Don't need the marrow bulb, we'll get rid of that for now. Uh, 52, alright, well that's enough for a dihydrogen. So that's all we needed for the terrain manipulator. Oh, that can go. That can go into. I don't know why that, why that ended up there. I suppose I put it there. <laughs> Unless I shot it from the ship, maybe that might have been what happened. Uh, okay, we're making one of these guys, and now I can make the terrain manipulator. You don't have to put it in that spot, you can put it wherever you like, it's just giving an indication. Okay, right now we can dig around and also we will now go to 
the uh, minor settlement. <laughs> Which is totally opposite direction the way I was going. How far is it? If it's too far, you can go up into space and make the distance shorter. No, it's right here. Oh, it's up top. Okay. Well, yeah. The first base can be anywhere. It really doesn't matter. You'll get around other places and uh, can make a base in many, many areas, many planets if you want. All right. Any little loot over here? Nothing there. All right. That later on. All right. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here. Go to these two structures. I call these the outhouses. Men's and ladies. Nothing in this one. Yep, typical bachelor pad. Yep, this one's got all the pretty coloured stuff. <laughs> Alright, so we should get a standing by the Corvax here. Now that we know we have Corvax. And a little bit of money. I've never understood why you get so little money. Why these things are really here. Like, even early game, it, it's, it's, it's next to nothing. I, I never really understood why they're even there. Someone will give me a good answer for it, I'm sure. I'd like to know what the genuine reason for only getting uh, maybe up to 1,500 um, units, whatever the money is in this, yeah, whatever they are. Um, it's it's just not much. Seem just To me, it seems kind of pointless having it. Another Gek Relic. Good, we'll need those. Oh, no, no. Gek Relics we don't need right now. So, I might as well sell them. I don't know, I'm running around in in, uh, in um, permadeath, using up my life support quicker, but as you know, it's generally what I do in these games regardless. I just, as long as I've got something to replace it, it's okay. Uh, let's talk to you. What's your name? Karelikin. Got the string down and the power level spiraling downwards. He doesn't sound too healthy. He needs help. Ah, same question as the guy in the, space, in the space station. Yeah, so he wants carbon as well. So that's good. Gets power back to his shell. And he gives us more nanites. How many nanites have we got? 333. Not enough for an S-Class module yet, but there was nothing in that space station we wanted. So we'll be looking at getting, uh, hopefully, a scanner module in, in the next system. Hi, yeah, look, I already said hello. Don't keep waving to me. People start talking. Just gained rank 2 out of 9 for the Corvax. What's this multi-tool? It's a B-class. Hello, it's got a... They're the black, yeah, black markup ones, yeah. Interesting. I won't get that yet, though. We'll look for something else. Alright, well, look, we're going to make our base here, I reckon. Uh, for now. Let's just do a scan and see what's around us. Some sodium over there. I mean, we are on top of a hill, so don't expect too much. But we've got a bunch of carbon up there, which is good. We'll need that for building. Yeah, it's not the greatest place for a base. I'd rather be down lower, but still, it'll do. Oh, let's run up the hill here and grab this damaged machinery. And there'll also be a little, little treasure underneath and in the ground. You'll see in a moment. Grab this first. Don't want Fesium. Scanner mod will be good. They're nice. Okay. So what you can do is you can, if you can't see the little blue mark, you can use the uh, analysis visor. I can't actually see it. There should be one here. Maybe there's not this time. Yeah, if that's if that's too far away, yeah, it's 300. Hmm, that's strange. There isn't one here. Okay, so be it. Oop, okay, shooting and stuff. There's sentinels right there. I might come up here a bit further. It's a good lot of condensed carbon here. Yes, I know. So I can't get that one yet. I need a bit of laser on my uh, mining tool. So probably, I think I've got plenty of carbon I don't, at the moment. We'll be right to make a little 2x2 two two when we do do our base. Not 
not going to go all the way down there. You can't, you can, I'll show you, you can do it. You just got to time the, uh, the descent. Yes, everything's low. It's permadeath. Hey, stop it. Keep your tentacles to yourself. Jump in here, get our hazard protection back. Alright, so we are going to make a base. So we'll do a base computer. I'll just uh, just get our hazard protection back up. I'm just going to do a very small base for starters. Oh, except I need to do this first. Oops. Hang on, try that again. Take two, that one. Just for the moment. That's the one. Buttons are a bit different on the controller, I've got to get used to them. Oh, we haven't got much, we don't have much carbon. Okay. Well, let's put the uh, copper in there. Get it started. Might be enough. We do need to get carbon though, okay. Use the carbon on. Oh, I uh, had to do the nanotubes. There's 100 there. Goes very quick. And it will do with the building too, so we'll definitely get more than the stack. For starters. Just watch it doesn't overheat. Get a little bit more. Cause I'll use I'll use up a fair bit of carbon just uh, building this little shack. Is it all done? Didn't quite. Twenty three. Oh, are you kidding? <laughs> Typical. All right, let's get it going again. Yeah, seven was not much carbon. Place some of what we just used while well, that's refining the copper down to chromatic metal. Okay, now we can make a base computer. That one. All right, one base computer ready to go. Talk to the base computer, see what it's got to say to us. Search in the archives. Claim the base. So now we have this site as our base. Now it wants us to talk to it again. Okay. Check the plans. This will give us the panels that we need to create the walls and ceiling. I'll go into photo mode just to save the old hazard protection. Uh, that's reasonably straight. That'll do. Because there'll be a storm very shortly. Like I said, I'm only going to do a a small base just now. We'll just have the one, oops, the one doorway for the moment. And we can always move the parts around or uh, disassemble them and, and do it. Now we do need also to, oh, let's get inside with the storm. We also need to get some ferrite, pure ferrite for the the door. The door needs pure ferrite, so to make a proper door, so I'll do that. And the good thing is you can put it in here. Uh, 10? I think it's 10. So, yeah, 
Yep, that works. Pretty sure it's 10 for the door. It's either 10 or 15, but I think it's 10. Sweet. Checking out my new house, mate. Yeah? <laughs> Where were you going? <laughs> uh, what am I doing? This. The door. There we go. Now I just need to do some ceilings. Let's get out here a bit. Oops, I'm in, in there. I've got to get out of there to do that. Try that again. There we go. I couldn't do it while I was in the in the other place, in the in the minor settlement there. It was a problem. Well, did that work? No, it didn't. I'm not sure where that ended up. We'll find it soon enough. Let's go have a look. Our house. That'll do for now. Nice. Base computer updated. All right. What do we got? Additional archives recovered. What have we learned this time? Salvage data we need. So have the plans to make the construction research unit. 20 magnetized ferrite and one carbon nanotube. Now, we don't have a lot of ferrite dust, do we? Maybe I should have been keeping the rusted metal. Uh, ferrite dust A2. How much did I need for it? This one. Oops. 20, so I need 40. Okay, yeah, I can do that. All right, sweet. Just put it there for the moment. Yeah, so it, it uh, magnetized ferrite. So ferrite goes to pure ferrite, same ratio, one to one, but then from pure ferrite to magnetized ferrite, it's two to one. So we need to have twice as much uh, ferrite dust to get what we need in magnetized ferrite. While it's doing that, we'll make our carbon nanotube. No, we can't. We don't have enough carbon. <laughs> Darn it. Time to shoot something. Just used up my carbon. I had to, to refill that, but I uh, needed it, so we'll just get a bit more now. So we need to make one, one carbon nanotube at least. Oh, where was that other spot there? Oh, it's just a small plant, that's right. Okay. Should be enough carbon for now? Yeah, plenty. Alright. Oop, here we go. Oops, now I need to put the... I could have put that straight in actually, I wasn't thinking. Um, pure ferrite into there, and that'll make 20. 20 magnetized ferrite. So while it's doing that, we, now, we will now make our nanotube. And now we should be right to pick up to, to make our next piece of the puzzle. Uh, exit, yep. So, let's put this guy. That'll do. Oops. Let's have a look and see what's got to say to us. Unit online. So I need to find salvage data from buried technology. Equip and utilize an analysis visor. And I don't have any, so I need to find some. So, yeah, that's what we will do on the next episode. We'll start grabbing a bit of the salvage data. Uh, I'll see if I can see any... Anyone that hasn't seen what the symbol looks like for it. Oops. Can't see any... Oh, there's one. That, that little there. Berry Technology Module. That's what we're looking for. So I don't know if it'll remember that after I log out, but uh, that's probably where we're going to be heading first, I think, looking at this. There's none. I don't think there was one at the... Quite often these... Yeah, quite often these little houses here have a uh, 
they're called shelters actually, but I call them outhouses. Um, there's quite often damaged machinery at the back of these, so not this time though. All right, that is fine. Let's go and jump in our ship and save it. Oops, up get. There we go. Up and over. No, I've got to get my jet back back. <laughs> it won't let me get up over the fence. Come on. That should be enough. No, it's not. Yes, it is. <laughs> Everything runs out a lot faster in permanent. That is for sure. Okay, we will save it here, guys. Thanks a lot for joining. If you enjoy the content, you can like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you all on the next one. We'll see you later.